Hey guys, Mr. here again for another video today, and we are back with our Houston Vikings franchise mode. And in this one, we move on to the second round and uh, looking to get over the Winnipeg Jets. Sounds funny because we've got both my series currently against each other in the playoffs here, so that, that, this should be interesting. Uh, looking at our leading score, we have uh, Darren Nicholas in five games. He has seven points. He has been doing really good. Just a quick update on the lines. It's what it's looking like. Hopefully it isn't going to change too much due to injuries or anything. And then goalies, there we go. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, it was pretty solid in the first round, I might say. Um, let's go look at the first round, and I'll show you how uh, how we did. So we went up against Calgary. We won game one. We won game two, and we won game three, all in relatively very easy fashion. And then game number three, they gave us a run for our, or sorry, game number four, they gave us a run for our money, and then uh, got a bo or got a win on the board. And then in game number five, we went to overtime, but we managed to win it in overtime. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty good series. We then had a five-day break. Uh, and hopefully that five-day break will help us out. Now, as for our AHL team, Liverpool is in the second round of the playoffs. We are tied 1-1 in the second round. We went to Game 5 against Utica in the first round, so we'll see how that goes. Winnipeg is also 4-1. I did just see the record there, so that is interesting. Let's go and check out the lines of, uh, of Winnipeg, though. I'm assuming they're going to be pretty decent, assuming they... All Okay, that's Washington. I was going to say, I'm like, wait, no way. But yeah, okay. All right, looking at this team, let's go. First uh, first line, we've got uh, Nikolai Ehlers with Mark Scheifele and Patrick Liney. That is a pretty solid top line, not going to lie. Liney has five points in five games. Scheifele has nine in five games. And Ehlers has seven in ten ga or five games. Ehlers is getting paid a lot. Scheifele is getting paid a lot. And Liney is getting paid an absolute shit ton now on to their second line they've got reed boucher with nicholas backstrom and jordan eberly um only one point on that second line nice okay and then uh third line they have jason robertson with brian little who has four points and then adam lowry who has three points not too bad and then their fourth line gaunts with no points uh mercier with no points and wilson with no points so really their bottom nine aren't that great i mean their second line would be a good th would be a decent a good third line their third line would be a decent third oh, i'd say their third line is a good third line but it's their first line that really delivers and i'm assuming yeah i was gonna say i'm assuming their defense must as well josh morrissey a top two defenseman 90 overall uh, unfortunately never got to be that good for us uh, but yeah he's got five points in five games Truba two points in five games and Yoni Tulola a Houston Vikings uh, legend in the first series back in NHL 17 he doesn't have a point with Riley Sweeney a pretty decent top four defenseman to be fair and Manny Rafalski and Ralph Prosser so not a lot of scoring from their defense, but yeah, their goalie, Eric Comrie, must be doing pretty decent. And then Jorgen or Jorgen Scroder as the backup. 953 save percentage for Eric Comrie. Now, let's go look at our team. I don't know what the save percentage is. Where am I going? Where is Houston uh, up? Where I don't. What the hell? Can I not see my team from there? Probably not. All right. Um, let's go and look at uh, Lukanen's save percentage and his stats because, to be honest, I don't know if they're that good, but they might be. 948 save percentage and also at 1.40 GAA, so that's not bad, but then again, um, yeah, definitely not as good as Comrie, so I mean, I think we should just get right into this, guys, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes. Game number one, we have home ice advantage throughout the entire playoffs, so we'll see if that comes into play whatsoever in this game. First period, let's go. Uh, all right, Nico Hischer scores on Eric Comrie in, uh, around the hash marks, in between the hash marks to make it 1-0, and wow, what a first period that was from us. 
we came out of there with 19 total shots and four shots for Winnipeg. So that was a good period, I must say. We're up one nothing as we head into the second. There we go. That was a good first. Second period, though, can we follow up? And we can. Markkinen with a goal and Markkinen with another goal. I didn't even realize he scored two goals and had less than three minutes, or no, a little bit more than three minutes apart from each other, around three minutes apart from each other. We now have 32 shots, so we only got uh, 13 shots in that period, and they got 14, but we're still on top, 3 nothing, and it's now time to slow sim the third. And they have a power play early. They weren't able to do anything with it. They have another power play. Uh, again, weren't able to do anything with it. Looking like we may get close to 40 shots this game. And Ken Hillis from the point. Is it Ken? No, I don't remember. Hillis from the point scores. And we had, they had a power play. And Jordan Everly ruins that, or ruins the shutout for Lukanen. But uh, I'd say Lukanen most definitely has the better stats between the two goalies now. That's for sure. Um, Pekka Markkinen, two goals, the first star. Lukanen with a 962 save percentage, the second star. And Zadina, the uh, third star. So that is our third line coming in. Pretty damn hot in that one, that's for sure. Uh, we'll simulate to game number two again, obviously. Still in Houston, and we'll see how this goes now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do decent. Uh, but let's go. We'll hopefully continue the offense that we had in that game if we can that would be really nice that's for sure let's go first period of game two nice up one nothing again terry yoshimura nice uh shots 14 to 10 for um for houston so not too bad we're in the lead in shots after the first once again and in the lead by one heading into the second for the second game in a row Comrie, buddy, he hasn't been doing too hot against us, so we'll see if that then turns around now since I just mentioned it. Second period, uh, all right, and we're up 3 nothing again <laughs> heading into the third period. Julius Honka and Curtis Davis scores about two minutes and uh, 16 seconds apart from each other. Shots are 26 to 14 for us, and we head into the third, which we will slow Sim up by three goals. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, and Nico Hesher makes it 4 nothing power play for Winnipeg. They weren't able to score. Oscar Lindbergh, though, makes it 5 nothing, And Winnipeg, again, yet to score on a power play. We have another power play now. They weren't. We weren't able to convert. They had one. They weren't able to convert. Three minutes remaining in game number two. And a 5 nothing win for Houston. And a big 24-save shutout. For uh, Lukanen, who is the second star, Curtis David with a goal and two assists, Yoshimura with a goal and an assist as well. So, um, both games we have scored four plus goals. So in in the first two games of the uh, of this series, we've scored nine goals and they have scored one. Curtis David now the leading point scorer on the team. Surprising, he doesn't have any more goals than just two. But then again, he could. He could go hot any time now. Well, I mean, he's doing good. He is the leading scorer on the team. So we will sim to game number three now. Uh, Jamie Duncan has been injured in the AHL. Who, where, uh, what? Oh, I, no, never mind. He must have been coming back from injury. That's what, or he must have got injured in the game there. And then they just, um, it was just a game injury though. So Liverpool down 3-1 in the series, not looking too good for them, but the main focus is on the NHL series. Let's go. First period of game number three, this time in Winnipeg. How does it go? All right. Well, no goals in the first for the first time in this series, and shots were still leading. Uh, 9-7, to seven. not too bad. Uh, now, I mean, I guess we'll just get straight into the second period as well. Let's go. Come on, we get on the board first. Nico Hischer scores on a very poor angle. Our former captain scored to open up the scoring of this game. And then our current captain, Curtis David, uh, scored his third and second uh, of this series. So, like I said, he could get hot anytime. Is that happening right now? Hopefully. Shots 25-12 to 12 for us. And again, it is not looking too good for your Winnipeg Jets. Uh, but it's not me as the Winnipeg Jets, so we're okay with beating the Winnipeg Jets. Yoshimura made it 3 nothing. each team getting a power play as well. There's a, We just hit 30 shots. 
They don't even have 20 shots yet. Lukanen hasn't been tested very much in this series. And Comrie, actually Scroder's in that right now. Uh, I wonder what happened there. But we win game number three now. And that is two straight shutouts for Lukanen. 19 save shutout there. Yoshimura and David as well with a goal and an assist. Man, dude, that duo... Uh, I mean, that entire top line is really crazy. I don't know if I'm even going to put... Uh, who was, was it? Benson? Uh, no, it wasn't Benson. It was Nicholas, wasn't it? Uh, whoever's on the second line that our franchise player is. I think it's Nicholas that's on the second line. Yeah. I don't know if I, if I am honestly going to put Nicholas on that second line ne or on that top line next year because the combination of Yoshimura, like this top line is plus 8, plus 9, and plus 9. Yoshimura has a 25% shooting percentage. Benson has an 188 uh, David doesn't have a very good uh, shooting percentage, but he is getting points. He does have the most points on the team. And our second line, plus 6, plus 4, plus 6. Our third line, plus 6, plus 6, plus 3. Our fourth line, uh, all even, and then 1 minus 1. Now, I mean, our fourth line, I'm not too worried about that. But it's... Every single line should be able to score. I mean, our first line is better than their first line. Our second line is miles ahead of their th second line. Our third line is miles ahead of their third line. And our fourth line is miles ahead of their fourth line. So, I don't know. Now, I'd say our top two definitely isn't as good. But our second and third pair are definitely better than them as well. And Lukanen has just been absolutely unreal in the series. But like I said, he really hasn't been tested that much so game number four uh let's see uh, i'm assuming we got eliminated in the playoffs yes we did uh so franklin goran was the leading point scorer he had seven goals uh, in the ahl there so that's not too bad but let's see if we are able to sweep the winnipeg jets here game number four they uh are again on home ice uh, i mean the winnipeg jets fans are kind of scared because this houston team has been eating them at, or eating them alive. I almost said eating them out, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, let's go. First period of game number four. And nice, Darren Nicholas scores. Then Mark Shifley scores for the first time in two games. The Jets get on the board. And then Yoshimura gave us the lead again. Actually, that was a great response from Winnipeg. They scored 12 seconds after Nicholas, but a little under two minutes, Yoshimura scored. To give us the lead back, shots 13-4 to four for us, and we head to the second period up by one goal. Let's go. Second period, goals on both sides again. Eberle tied the game, but then uh, Rick Ronaldo and Curtis David scored to give us the 4-2 lead, and uh, shots 23-13. to 13. Lukanen hasn't been too hot in this game, but it's okay because we have the lead, and as long as we win this game, I am okay. 5-on-3 power play, and Terry Yoshimura makes it 5-2. Then Winnipeg has a power play. Unable to convert, though. I think our penalty kill might be too good for their power play, to be fair. It is a really good penalty kill. Three minutes remaining, and we will sweep the Winnipeg Jets in round number two to go to the Western Conference Finals. Man, this team is looking really good. Yoshimura with two goals, David with a goal and an assist, and then Shifley, the third star, with a goal. So, we're on to the second round of the playoff, or sorry, the third round of the playoffs to go uh, to the Western Conference Finals for, I believe, the second or third time in franchise history. And uh, let's see, we will be facing the Arizona Coyotes, who are 8-5, and five, so not a bad record, that's for sure. Although not as good as 8-1, which is our current record. David with 14 points in 9 games. He has 4 goals. In the Eastern Conference Finals, we have Carolina versus Toronto. So let's go see the player stats really quickly. We've got 14 points from David. 11 points from Yoshimura. 11 points from Gibson. 10 points from Nicholas. 9 points from Benson. And those are our point-per-game players. Then 8 points for Hischier, 6 points for Zadinia, 5 points for Markkanen, 4 for Perrin and Nickerson, 3 for Honka and Hillis, uh, 2 for Ronaldo and Lindbergh, and Chevery and Kristanovic, Roning with 1, Trojanovic with 1. So everybody actually does have a point on, on this team right now, and I believe Chevery's the only minus player on the team. He is. Our fourth line hasn't been that great. 
uh, to be fair. But our top line, uh, Benson, Yoshimura, and David, plus 9, plus 11, plus 11. Yeah, it's just crazy. Yoshimura has seven goals as well. And then Hishir with four, Nicholas with four, David with four, Benson, Gibson, and Markkinen all with three after that. Let's go check Luke in. He was arguably the main man in that series. Eight and one with four shutouts, a 956 save percentage, and a 1.11 GAA. That is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do kind of want to go see Winnipeg, or Eric Comrie's stats now, though. He, his stats went down so much. Now down to a 921 save percentage and a 2.6 GAA. We we did wonders against that against that team somehow. So that is quite crazy to me. Uh, but yeah, guys, I mean that's gonna be it from me in this one. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you all did did, did enjoy. And uh, tune in next time to see us take on the Arizona Coyotes in the Western Conference Final. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.